Robert Johnson is an early member of the 27 Club, and his death may be due to a deal with the devil. The 27 Club is a romanticized but tragic group of talented musicians whose lives ended at the age of 27, usually due to drug or alcohol-related overdoses. Robert Johnson, a man credited with inventing the Delta Blues sound, is the rare member of that club who also makes the list of people who made deals with the devil. Robert Johnson's mysterious death came after he allegedly went to the crossroads of highways 49 and 61 in Clarkesdale, MS, and exchanged his soul for the ability to play the guitar. A year after recording highly influential blues tracks, Johnson died, and people started speculating that the devil had come to take what was due to him. Some believe a disease caused his death, while other believe a romantic rival murdered Johnson. We may never know all of the facts about his death, but maybe we can find an answer to the question, did Robert Johnson make a deal with the devil? He was a terrible guitar player until he disappeared for a while. Sun House, blues man and friend of Johnson, told documentarian Peter W. Meyer that his friend was a horrible guitarist until his visit to the crossroads. According to Howes, Johnson would ask other men that played blues to let him play with them. He was fine with the harmonica, but his guitar playing supposedly made people crazy. After disappearing, for what some claim was only overnight, while others say it was several weeks, Johnson sat down and played guitar for David Honeyboy Edwards. Edwards told people it was like nothing he'd ever heard before. Some say poisoned whiskey and infidelity are what killed him. Mother Jones reported that Johnson's mother told people her son died from being given poisoned whiskey while he played a gig in Greenwood, Mississippi, in 1938. Some say a woman gave him the poison drink, while others say the owner of the bar he was playing in thought Johnson was having an affair with his wife. David Honeyboy Edwards, bluesman and friend of Johnson, believes the poisoned whiskey story. Edwards also claims he took Johnson to a friend's house when he began feeling ill from the poison. Johnson died a few days later with the death certificate marked no doctor. Johnson told his mother about his deal with the devil before he died, after being poisoned. One story says Johnson's mother came to his side on his deathbed in 1938. In his last words, he is alleged to have told her he had been waiting for her before handing her his guitar. He then asked his mother to hang the guitar on the wall, calling it the devil's instrument, and said he was done with it. Johnson's mother says he was dead when she turned back from hanging the guitar on the wall. When I went and where he at, he lay up in bed with his guitar crossed his breast. Soon's he saw me, he say, Mama, you all I've been waiting for. Here, he say, and give me his guitar. Take and hang this thing on the wall, cause I done pass all that by. That what got me messed up, Mama. It's the devil's instrument, just like you said. And I don't want it no more. And he died while I was hanging his guitar on the wall. Lyrics in Johnson's songs are about dealing with the devil, in me and the devil blues. Johnson wrote and sang about me and the devil was walking side by side as he is on his way to see his woman. He also refers to the devil as the reason for his actions in that song. On another song, Crossroad Blues, Johnson talks about falling on his knees at a crossroads and asking the Lord to help a man named Bob. Another lyric is I got the crossroad blues this morning, Lord. Babe, I'm sinking down. Some people point to these as evidence of Johnson's deal with the devil. A bluesman named Henry Goodman claims to have seen the deal with the devil in a vision. At a diner in Rosedale, Mississippi, writer Roloff Potts was handed a crumpled paper that contained a vision from bluesman Henry Goodman concerning Johnson selling his soul to the devil. The waitress believed the account meant the crossroads Johnson visited were those located in the intersection of Highway 8 and Highway 1 in Rosedale. Other stories claim it was the intersection of US 49 and 61 is where Johnson's infamous deal with the devil occurred. Goodman's vision included allusions to Johnson lyrics, with the devil telling him to fill his stomach with tamales for the journey. Johnson had a song called They're Red Hot that has the lyric hot tamales and they're red hot, yes she got them for sale. In the vision, the devil is the first one to call Johnson the king of the Delta Blues, a name that would accompany his legacy of music. A note on the back of the death certificate has syphilis as the cause. Johnson's death certificate says no doctor, but a note on the back of it lists his cause of death as syphilis. The note is believed to have been written by the owner of the home in which Johnson died after being taken there by friend Honey Boy Edwards. It is not known how the homeowner would know if Johnson died from syphilis complications. Johnson only recorded 29 songs. 
songs, but they influenced musical legends. After returning from his alleged deal with the devil, Johnson recorded 29 songs over two sessions held in 1936 and 1937. These would be the only songs he ever recorded, outliving the bluesman to inspire generations of musicians after his death in 1938. Johnson's songs have been covered by Eric Clapton, Muddy Waters, Led Zeppelin, Cream, Red Hot Chili Peppers, The White Stripes, and many others. Clapton is credited as bringing Johnson into popularity, as the talented musician released an album with his versions of the Bluesman's song in 2004. Sessions for Robert J. Johnson recorded music only when facing the corner of the room. In 1962, Columbia Records released King of the Delta Blues Singers, a re-release of Johnson's songs recorded in 1936 to 1937. Eric Clapton remembers that the liner notes talked about Johnson being so shy that he recorded the songs while facing the corner of the room. Some people point to that peculiarity as proof of the devil's intervention, with Johnson not able to show his face while playing what he sold his soul to gain. Others believe Johnson was merely trying to make sure his voice sounded good in the recording recordings, saying he understood the radio and records better than other bluesmen. Based on his appearance, experts think Marfan syndrome killed Johnson. Born in 1911, Johnson grew into a tall, slender man who would have a droopy left eye and long fingers. Some people believe this points to Johnson having Marfan syndrome, which is a genetic disorder of the connective tissue of the body. The disorder can affect the heart, bones, and eyes of a person. It can lead to aortic dissection, mitral valve prolapse sudden lung collapse, and emphysema. Some believe this is the real cause of Johnson's death. Others believed his death was caused by an aneurysm or pneumonia, while there was no official cause of death listed on the certificate. There were extensive notes found on the back of the certificate. Notes from the owner of the home Johnson died in suggested syphilis, but there were other notes from physicians that suggested other means of death. One doctor's notes also pointed to congenital syphilis, but the doctor hypothesis the disease caused caused a fatal aneurysm. Another round of notes on the back of Johnson's death certificate stated a combination of moonshine and poison didn't directly kill him. Instead, the combination made Johnson susceptible to a lethal case of pneumonia. Supposedly Johnson got guitar lessons from a teacher. There are claims Johnson told people that he studied with a guitar teacher for the six weeks he was gone. Sunhouse acknowledges Johnson probably went to Arkansas when he took his guitar and left, but he never mentions hearing about a teacher. The devil legend overshadows the man. While the idea of a musician selling his soul to the devil in exchange for the creation of immortal works of blues legend is a dream come true to a record label's marketing department, some people feel that narrative takes away from Johnson's talent. Elijah Wald told NPR, it's kind of implying that, unlike us who do this serious work to understand music, these old black blues guys just went and sold their soul to the devil. The location of the crossroads is hotly debated. The Crossroads Blues Society, of Rosedale, Mississippi, insists the crossroads where Johnson sold his soul to the devil are in their town, at the intersection of highways 8 and 1. The Blues Society have their headquarters in this location and point to the vision of bluesman Henry Goodman as proof. They also say Rosedale is closer to Voodoo than the other supposed location in Clarksdale. People who pay their respects to Johnson generally do so at US 61 and US 49 in Clarksdale. Though Johnson's own lyrics say Lord, I'm going to Rosedale, gone take my rider by my side. Since only the DDEVIL and Robert Johnson know the truth, no one else will ever know for sure.